In this tutorial, I'll teach you the basics of a text reveal in After Effects. For this, I'll be using track matte options, which I'll also explain in detail what they do, different types of them and how to use them. So without further ado, let's jump into it by creating a new composition. Any size will do. Then grab the type tool and type the text. I'm going to type motion and align the text in the center. Then select the rectangle tool. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. Any shape will do. And make sure it has fill set to a solid color and doesn't have to have stroke. And then go ahead and create a rectangle like that. And the most common approach would be to rename the rectangle to matte, just so you know what you're dealing with. Now we need to bring out the track matte column. If you don't see it here, just click on this button. And as you can see, the track matte column will appear. To do that, at this point, make sure that the text is below the matte shape layer. Open up the track matte option for the text and set it to alpha matte. And once you do that, you'll see that our matte shape layer is no longer visible, it's hidden, and our text is partly visible. That's what alpha matte does, so it's pretty much a way of telling After Effects when you want your layer to be visible and when you don't want it to be visible. By selecting alpha matte, what you're doing is you're telling After Effects that you want this layer to be visible only when it's under a specific layer, so in this case under the matte layer. So if we start dragging the text, you'll see that the text will be visible only once it's under the matte shape layer, not outside. And if we switch this to alpha inverted matte in track matte options, exactly the opposite will happen. Now our text will be visible only when it's not under the matte shape layer. And once it's under the shape layer, it will no longer be visible. So this is the main difference between alpha matte and alpha inverted matte, and those two track matte options are the most commonly used ones we have. Now let's use this technique to create a basic text reveal. Hit the text track matte set to alpha inverted matte, then select the text and press P on your keyboard to bring up the position properties. Click on the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe for position at the beginning of your composition and drag the text down to the point that we no longer see it. Then move to one second and change out the position, so bring the text up. And as simple as that, you can create a basic text reveal. It'll be even better if you select the keyframes and press F9 to easily use them. That'll smoothen out the animation. And this is the basics of a text reveal in After Effects. And a fun fact, many of those premium paid packs use the same exact technique to create titles, lower thirds and other awesome templates. I even have a dedicated tutorial recreating one of the premium titles, so if you're interested, go check it out. I hope you learned something new in this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.